A thin layer of clouds blocked the sun off and on as the moon moved in, approaching totality, but still, many people got a sight that they'll never forget. The eclipse was big business for Glendale, Washington, right in the middle of the total eclipse path. The population nearly doubled overnight as people from all over North America converged for what's probably the most spectacular natural event. Networks transmitted live from here, giving the nation their safest view of the eclipse. As totality passed over Portland, the sky dimmed from bright daylight to dark as night. It's such a dramatic change that many animals were confused. Dogs howled in fear, the birds took to the air frantically before returning to their roosts. As the sun finally winked out over Glendale, clouds were so thick that the solar atmosphere, the corona, was barely visible. The best pictures came out of Helena, Montana, where the sky almost miraculously cleared just before totality. For two and a half minutes, scientists were able to photograph the corona, which is made up of an extremely hot and thin hydrogen gas. It's only visible during an eclipse or with special astronomical equipment that simulates one. The information gathered today may give scientists a better understanding of the atomic processes that make the sun burn. From that, they may better forecast solar flares and storms that occasionally block out radio communication here on Earth. The corona wasn't visible in Texas, but nearly 70% of the sun was eaten away as the moon passed over it. The Astronomy Department of St. Mark's School in Dallas used their 15-inch reflecting telescope to project the sun's image for their students to view this morning. The eclipse began here at about 9.15 and reached maximum coverage at 10.20. As the students of St. Mark's watched the sun dim today, it occurred to one of them he would be 75 years old before he could see the next total eclipse. If you weren't lucky enough to head to the northwestern United States to see the total eclipse today, the next one for our part of the world will be in Mexico in 1991 and another one that'll pass almost directly over Dallas in 2017. Steve Newman, Channel 8 News.